Hi, my name is Mary Colend and welcome to your tiny space yoga at home. I'm also calling this the bathroom mat yoga because this is what I'm literally going to use for today's class. So you see, you don't need a yoga mat today. If you have a blanket or a towel or anything that supports you in the end, could be a sweater or a shirt, just underneath your knees or booty in the end, that'd be perfect. Otherwise, just enjoy, be yourself, and know that you can still practice yoga even when you have less space. Maybe also in a smaller hotel room right now, wherever you are, know yoga is available, and let's just have fun and get started. Let's start in standing at attention, samasiddhi. Find a comfortable distance between your feet. Soften your knees, pull your belly in, widen your chest, bring your hands to your heart and maybe you want to close your eyes or soften your gaze down your nose. Then settle in here, spread your toes wide to find more foundation below you. Get grounded. And let your inhales and exhales become longer and longer. If you feel you are carrying some emotional baggage with you still, maybe give it some big sighs out when you exhale. So take a breath in, big exhale, let it out. <sighs> Make it audible. One more time, deep breath in, big exhale, let go. And now find stillness. Notice your breath, where it's going right now. Is it more in your chest or in your belly? And how can you guide your breath more and more down? Now, imagine, even though you're in a smaller room right now, that there is space between everything you know between the atoms and molecules, the particles of the universe. So now your light can expand through all of that, can expand beyond physical boundaries. Take a conscious breath into your belly. Feel the light in your body. And when you exhale, let it expand beyond your walls. <sighs> Keep imagining how you take up more and more room with your light. And slowly, flat your eyes open, release your arms by your side. Right away, inhale, mountain pose. Now reach your arms up. Stay here and breathe. We already got the foundation in our legs. So now rotate your biceps back and in and soften your shoulders away from your ears. Spread your fingers wide. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart and twist from your core to the right of side of your space. And when you do that, see that your right hip still comes slightly more forward. Now add some goalpost arms. So bend your elbows, spread your fingers wide. So the twist is still coming from your core. Keep your core engaged. Nice. Inhale, mountain, reach up into the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart first and twist to your left side. Now nozzle your left hip crease forward. Soften your shoulders and then add your cactus arms. Spread your fingers wide like starfish. And inhale, mount and reach up. Axis standing back bend with reverse namaskar. Place your hands together behind your neck. Reach your elbows up. Push your bones forward slowly. Send your heart up and lean back. Keep your weight in your heels, but also in your toes. Lift up through your chest, even though you're bending back. 
Inhale, mountain, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Send your arms down, soften your knees. And maybe you want to pat out your legs here. Let your head become heavy. Haul out your belly more and more. Let's find some ragdoll. Spread your feet wide. Opposite elbows with your hands and just sway from side to side. Maybe you're feeling a little playful. Swivel so your feet over to your right side while you're swaying over to your left. Mm. And swivel your feet over to your left. And swing over to your right side. And come back to center with your feet. Find a comfortable distance. Release your hands down. Now interlace your hands behind you for chest expansion grip. And you can keep your elbows lightly bent here, especially when you're tight on your shoulders. I always have to adjust. You can also grab onto a towel or a strap, or you just grab for opposite elbows. The point here is to open up your heart a little more, but still keep your head heavy. And maybe again, you want to swing from side to side. Mm. Nice. Release your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Place your hands onto your shins. Expand your heart forward. Gaze down, loop your shoulders away from your ears. So you're creating an L shape in your body. Take one more breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Like peanut. <laughs> Let's flow through the sun A. Inhale, mountain reach up. Exhale, twist over to your right side, go post your arms. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, twist over to your left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, standing back bend with reverse namaskar. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let's flow one more time. We're adding one element. Inhale, mountain, reach up. The snap. Exhale, find a prayer grip. Inhale, send energy up into the sky. Exhale, lateral stretch to your right. Kick your hips to the left. Rainbow your torso over to the right side of the, your space. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Pull your navel in and yeah, scooch your left shoulder slightly back to square your shoulders off. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lateral stretch to your left side. Send your hips over to the right. Curve your torso up and over to the left. Stay here and breathe a little more. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. Strong core. And then travel your right shoulder slightly back. Inhale, mountain, open your arms. Exhale, twist to your right. So go post your arms. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, twist over to your left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back bend with reverse namaskar. Open up your chest, beam your elbows up. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward. Nice. Let's move on. Bend your knees. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sink your tailbone down and back. Reach your arms up. Hold here and breathe. So without moving your feet, imagine you want to tear them apart so you activate your outer glute muscles. Spiral your inner thighs down and back. Pull your belly button in and then rotate your biceps back and in. 
take a deep breath in stay for your exhale and sink a little deeper find your edge you got this you are strong one more breath in now listen up exhale bring your hands to your heart first curtsy chair so step your right foot back and tiny bit over to your left and when you do that now twist over to your left and open your arms into a cactus so you stay bending your knees keep your left hip a little more forward and twist from your core great job let's come back into chair inhale chair exhale bring your hands to your heart curtsy chair bring your left foot back and slightly over to your right once you got that twist over to your right side with go post arms nice and then bring your right hip crease slightly more forward let the twist come from your core melt your shoulders down inhale chair pose reach your arms up sink your tailbone down and back one more time exhale forward fold release and dive down ah <sighs> great <laughs> in a halfway lift exhale fold <sighs> listen up inhale one legged mountain so lift your left leg up and reach your arms up Stay here and breathe just for a moment. Flex your left toes. Pull your belly button in. Open up your chest. Take a deep breath in. Reach up. Exhale, figure four. Bring your hands to your heart. Place your left foot on top of your right knee. And you may stay here or, here, or sit down into your chair. And you can choose how deep you want to go. Breathe here, pull your belly in, keep your chest lifted. Your left toes are super flexed. Gaze forward. It's a nice stretch and strengthener for your leg. Inhale, one legged mountain reach up. Listen up, exhale, keep your left leg lifted. Place your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Go post your left arm. So this is a Paravita Hasta Padangustasana variation. <laughs> Pull your navel in, lift up through your heart. You got this. Maybe if you have more room, you can also extend your left arm back. Inhale, one-legged mountain. One more time. Exhale, hands to your heart. Now place your left foot behind your right and almost like you crisscross your legs like this and fold forward slowly with soft knees, please. Hollow out your belly. This is your IT band stretch. So your feet are almost parallel. And then walk your hands a little more over to your right side. If you want to add the intensity of your stretch. And walk your hands forward. Maybe over to the other side for just a brief moment. And come back to center. Bring your left foot right next to your right. And let's do this one more time on the other side on our right leg. So inhale, one-legged mountain, reach your right leg up and your arms. Exhale, hold and breathe. Flex your right toes. Pull your belly button in, reach up through your arms. Take one more deep inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, figure four, hands to your heart. Place your right foot on top of your left knee. And you may stay here or sit back a little more. And then sometimes one side is a little tighter. So keep that in mind. Your body is not symmetrical. Please <laughs> know that. <clears throat> keep your heart lifted, your spine long, and roll your shoulders away from your ears. Your right toes are still super flexed. Inhale, one-legged mountain. 
the snap exhale place your left hand to the outside of your right knee go pose your right arm twist to your right as well pull your belly button in reach up through the crown of your head meld your shoulders down <laughs> excuse me <laughs> inhale one-legged mountain reach up exhale bring your hands to your heart first and slowly bring your right foot behind your left parallel your feet and with soft knees fold into your IT band stretch <sighs> and then slowly walk your hands over to your left if you need a little more stretch in your right outer thigh And slowly travel your hands over to your right. And then come back to center, please. Parallel your feet. And slowly roll yourself up with control. Let's reset. <laughs> hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in, lift up your shoulders. Exhale, melt your shoulders away from your ears. <sighs> Lovely. So the next move is the pyramid variation because we don't have as much room. So bring your right foot forward and your left foot back. So you see I'm still keeping it <laughs> within my parameters of my bathroom mat. So legs are hip width distance, hips are facing forward. Now. You have some options. You can either grab for opposite elbows or you can bring your fists together behind your chest like this. Or if you'd like to try out the reverse namaskar, you bring your hands together. And some days you can be a little tighter, some days it goes more fluid, and sometimes you just take a moment to get there, and that's fine. It took me also a long time to actually get almost my hands together. So roll your shoulders away from your ears, wherever you are, you don't even have to do it. You can just keep your hands at your hips. Now lift up through your heart, breathe in, pull your navel in, exhale, keep your right knee soft as you lean forward, straighten your spine, gaze down and pause here please. Send the weight into the front tilt of your foot, open up your chest, hollow out your belly and now you can maybe come a little more closer to your right leg, fold a little more forward and if you had enough of your <laughs> of your reverse namaskar you can release it, place your hands down and linger here a little longer stretching your right hamstrings Maybe you want to close your eyes. Expand your light with each exhale. Feel the space. Create space for yourself. Nice. Bring your hands to your hip bones with a strong core. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release your hands and maybe shake out your legs. And let's switch. Place your left foot forward, your right foot back. Again, the hip width distance, hip bones are forward like headlights. And whatever you did before, if you grab for opposite elbows, absolutely cool. Or maybe fists or reverse number scar, or you just had your hands at your hips. Cool beans, you choose. There is no perfect version of yoga, it's just yoga. Right, I have to remind myself also a lot of times. Take a deep inhale, lift up through your heart, pull your belly in, exhale. Keep your knee, your left knee soft please as you lean forward, chest is open, spine is long, send your weight into your, your front toe mount. And press down through your back heel. 
Gaze down. Keep your neck as well as your spine long and straight. Pull out your belly and maybe you can come a little closer to your left leg. And maybe you had enough of your reverse namaskar. Release your hands, maybe you roll out your wrists if you already did that anyway. <laughs> Place your hands down. Let your head become heavy. Just breathe here and feel the stretch in your left hamstrings. Nice, bring your hands to your hips. Pull your navel in, inhale slowly, come back up. Exhale, release your legs. And guess what? We're already standing, why don't we do just a tree pose in as well? So I'm mirroring you, come onto your right tippy toes, open your right knee, and you may stay in your kickstand, or bring your right foot to the inside of your left leg. Please avoid your left knee. Now beam your hip bones forward as you open your right knee more and more. Place your hands in front of your heart. Option to grow your branches as well. And maybe it's really windy where you're at. It's not here, it's super hot here right now. But you can imagine the wind and then you can just sway from side to side to challenge your balance. Take one more inhale, exhale, bring your hands to your heart, guide your right knee forward, land your right foot down. Same thing other side, come onto your left TB toes, open your left knee, either stay here or place your left foot to the inside of your right leg. Again, avoid your knee, please. Pull your belly in. Reach your left hip crease slightly more forward. Option, bring your hands to your heart. Or maybe you're like, no, I want to grow my branches again. And it's still windy. <laughs> you still want to sway from side to side. Go for it. Woo! You can also just find stillness here, of course. And take one more breath in, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart, travel your left knee forward, root your left foot down. Awesome. So let's slow down. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, standing back bend with reverse namaskar one more time. Find your edge. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Reach your heart forward. Exhale, is snap, squat, and curl. Lift up your heels, bend into your knees, place your hands down to support you. And if it's available, rest your forehead onto your knees. Press your inner heels, your calves together. And if you'd like to challenge yourself more, you can hug your uh, arms around your legs. No, you're not gonna fall far. You can just give it a try. And when you're done, you come down onto your knees. If you have something to put underneath your knees, that could be helpful. Because the next movement is gonna be camel. So your knees are hip width distance, hands behind your lower back. And if you'd like to, you can also tuck your toes under, especially if you already know what you're doing. You know, you can also just reach for your heels when you're ready. So first, inhale, lift up through your heart, push your bones forward, reach, reach up, exhale, camel pose, ustrasana, slowly lean back. 
open up your chest, roll your shoulders away from your ears. And please keep breathing here deeply to protect your lower back. So let the bend come from your upper spine, please. And if you feel like really frisky, frisky and you want more, slowly place one hand onto your heel, maybe also the other heel. If you do so, keep pressing your hip bones forward. Open up your heart. Gaze up. Take space, extend. One more inhale, one more exhale. Slowly and carefully, bring your hands back to your lower back. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, find a seat on your heels. Reset. Maybe you want to close your eyes. Maybe you want to rock from side to side. Let your heart calm down. <laughs> Feel the sensation. Expand your exhale. Open your eyes. Place your hands around your heels. So your thumbs are outside. So you cup your heels with your hands. Take a breath and reach up through your heart. Exhale, rabbit pose, Shashangasana, tuck your chin in, round into your spine and guide your forehead closer to your knees. And if you want a little more, you can lift up your hip bones. If you do so, please keep your forehead connected with your knees and avoid putting too much pressure onto the crown of your head. So your head is almost hovering above your mat or your whatever you're on the ground. <laughs> Your strong arms are helping you to keep your head lifted. And slowly release your hips down to your heels and slowly come back up. Ooh, nice. Come on to your booty now. So I was thinking, how can I do <laughs> a Jana Shoshasana in this little space? So it's a forehead to knee. And I thought to myself, it's still possible. So bring your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Root your hip bones down, inner reach your arms up. Exhale, twist over to your left. Now keep your left knee bent, please. And bring your chest and your belly closer to your left thigh. Flex your left toes and then grab behind your foot and just stay here. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. A lot of times when we do this posture where we have our left leg extended, we're tending to reach forward too far and pull on our lower back. So this is a great exercise to remind yourself to keep your chest connected with your legs because it creates length in your spine. If you have a little more space where you're like, I do have a little more space than a bathroom mat, you can extend a little more forward with your left leg. Soften your head down. Release your shoulders. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, twist. Twist and switch, I mean, <laughs> switch first. <laughs> so bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Right foot is bent. Root your hip bones down first. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Janus Shasana variation. Twist to your right, lean forward, connect your heart and your belly with your right leg. Flex your right toes, grab behind your right foot. Stay here. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. And if you have a little more room to spare, send your right leg a little bit more forward without losing the connection between your chest and belly to your thigh. Surrender your head down. Release your shoulders as well. Nice, inhale, come back up. Exhale, release. Now, 
let's do the butterfly, which is quite challenging for me. So I do it quite often, but I tend to be very uh, less flexible than most people, and that's fine. We're not here to judge each other. We're just here to practice and enjoy. So bring your feet together. And if you have something to lift your booty up a little more, maybe you want to use a sweater or something, that's cool too. Place your hands around your feet. Let your feet open and your knees. Take a breath in, reach up through your heart. Exhale, you may press your elbows into your legs and you may even lean more forward. Keep your spine long and your shoulders soft, please. Breathe here and expand. Remind yourself of your energy, how you can expand more and more. Brighten up the room with your light. And Tofu agrees. <laughs> And slowly come back up, bring your knees together. And now place your hands behind you, let your legs windshield wiper a little, giving yourself some release in your spine and hips. Awesome sauce. Now easy seat, cross your legs, hands to your heart. You may close your eyes one more time. Now take a deep breath in, fill up your lungs with new air. Expand your belly more and more. Big exhale, let it go. Soften your shoulders away from your ears, side out. <sighs> Guide your thumbs to your third eye. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun in your tiny space, yoga at home practice. Take one more inhale, reach up through your heart. Exhale, you may bow forward. Namaste. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please support me by subscribing to my channel for more videos. I would love to create more and I need your support, please. So hope to see you soon again and thank you.